My name is Amanda Garcia and I started my photography and filmmaking journey when I was about 12 years old, I guess. I bought my first semi-professional camera and just started shooting around my room, the my house, the people I loved, so that was about it. Then I upgraded when I was about 15 to a professional camera. And that's been my journey, just like shooting things I like, then got an interest in nature, in wildlife, landscapes, and yeah, been going on from there. I think my photography and film style is very cinematic. I like to make people feel something. I think you capture to the camera lenses your vision. So I want people to understand my vision. I think it's like really important to tell a story through a photo, through a video. And for me, achieving that is just amazing. I also like uh, editing because I feel like sometimes photos and videos don't really make justice to the way you see things. So with editing, I think you can achieve that. So yeah, probably a cinematic a style. For me, it's everything about connecting and sharing because travel photography and filmmaking is all about the experience, about discovering new places, new people, the connections you make. I'm really interested in like humans with humans, humans with nature, like all of that. I think you can really achieve it through traveling photography because you have to talk with people, you have to feel the ground, you have to get your hands dirty or like feel wind in like your face, it's freezing or it's hot, but you're there to like feel, connect and create, I don't know, it's like really special that you get to move a lot and therefore know a lot. My aspirations as a travel photographer and filmmaker are to experience the world and get others to experience the world with me. I think getting people to get what I see, what I feel, uh, experience through like my senses, through my camera, it's like something I really look up to. But also, uh, as I said earlier, the thing about connecting with people and like the stories you make, I think uh, that is something really powerful I aspire to, just like looking at a photo and being able to tell the exact moment that was happening or be able to like share what was the reason behind that photo happening. I think that's really powerful. I think I do consider myself a nomad. This year was the first time I traveled outside of my continent, so I think it's like a bit early to say that, but at the same time, I don't think so, because um, I think you make really strong connections every place you go, no matter how much time. I was in exchange for a semester from January to June, and now that place has my heart, and I feel like it's my home as well. Like, Mexico is my home, but also Italy is my home. And now I've spent seven, eight days in Norway, but it has a really special place in my heart as well. So yeah, I think I leave a piece of me in every place I go and also every place I go, I take some of it with me. And I think that's really beautiful. Like I have a home in multiple places instead of like not having one. So I think that's really, really beautiful. And I um, look forward to keep going that way. Working alongside professional photographers has been an amazing experience. I've learned so much. I can literally say in, a, say in a week I've learned more than I've done in a few years. So that's like a crazy thing to say, but it's just so cool having uh, able to talk to them 24 seven, like we're with them from night, from day to night and we eat together and we're eating. Like, of course we talk about other things, but also the photography and filmmaking tips they give to us. They're amazing, they've helped me so, so much and I'm really grateful for that experience. I think the most important lesson I've learned from Dan and Sora is making an impact. Uh, they were telling us about how they've literally changed people's lives through their photography and filmmaking and I think that's something so, so, so great and so important. I think uh, with photography and filmmaking, being able to make someone see things in a better way or in a different way or make them help them go through something, it's priceless. So I think that's the biggest thing I've learned from them. And also bracketing, <laughs> that is like a good, really good tip that has upgraded my photography skills to the next level.
I think this experience has evolved my photography and filmmaking skills like so 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 much because I've been able to like discover a lot of places I'm usually not able to where I live it's mostly industrial so I don't have a lot of chances to do landscape photography and here like everything is landscape everything is beautiful everything is worth taking a photo and also the tips the mentors give to us they are really really useful we get um in like little uh, rooms and have like these uh, tours uh, through Lightroom and through the camera, how to get better shots. So it's been really great to have that kind of experiences. And I think I've definitely learned a lot and I'm really excited to put that, these new skills in like my regular life when I get back home. Dan and Sora's mentors are really amazing. Like. Since the first day we met him, we met them at a dinner in Bergen. They were so warm. They made you feel comfortable right away. It's like almost like we're family. Um, now we were uh, road tripping kind of through Honingsbach and Les uh, mentioned that we were almost like a family, but it was so weird because everyone was from different countries. And I think that's so true. Like we're, we were able to form like a little family for just a few days, but it's been more than teachers. They're like, I don't know, just like friends, uh, advisors, everything at once. So it's, it's really nice. I think the most challenging part of the assignment was the climate conditions, especially the wind and the cold, because since I'm from Mexico, I am not used to being this cold, but it's so worth it. Like I was, talking about it earlier that I felt my face was burning from the cold wind and it's hard like you can barely feel your fingers so it's hard to take the photos but when you look at them it's so worth it and also it's like it's such a cool experience to like being able to go through that because like you know you feel you feel kind of invincible in such high places such cold temperatures but still like getting through it and I don't know just having an amazing time. <laughs>